Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So, did you know pest attacks on your fruits and vegetables can actually make them healthier for you? So here recently, I was listening to this beautiful Austrian girl discuss how they're going to be allowing GMO modified food into Austria, soybean to be exact, and how with, this, with these GMO modified crops, pest won't be a problem and how that's a good thing. Or is it? Let's go a little bit deeper. For thousands of years, the Japanese actually understood the concept of if there was some pest damage to that plant, vegetable or fruit, they understood that it was most likely going to produce a more nutritious food for them. It's going to have more antioxidants in it because the plant, as it's going under attack, begins to produce the antioxidants that we humans need in our bodies to fight disease. Do you remember your grandmother saying an apple a day will keep the doctor away? <laughs> or her saying something along the lines of food is medicine? Well, that's because it used to be true. Now what we're seeing is a push to remove any pest damage from crops because large agricultural companies lose money. Now there's a couple of different facets to this discussion. The most interesting is that here recently, Texas A&M, and you can't really argue with those folks because they know what they're doing, did a study on whether or not it was true that when there was some pest damage, some now, I'm not talking about the plant being eaten alive. We're going to talk about that in a second. But when there was some pest damage to fruits, vegetables, especially leafy vegetables, or the plant itself right before harvest, that the antioxidants in that went up. There's the information. If you'd like to go look it up further for yourself, don't believe me, always do your own research. Now, moving on. <clears throat> what they have also found is that healthy plants don't necessarily get attacked by pest. So my question is this, if we know that healthy soil produces healthy plants and that healthy plants rarely get attacked by large pest problems because the pest simply can't digest the plant it will kill them why is it that large agricultural businesses are needing so many pesticides well it's because the soil is no longer healthy they have over planted they have over harvested they have over fertilized okay look at this too much nitrogen on your soil will bring the pest in a few months later to eat up <laughs> the excess nitrogen i know lots of different concepts and theories but let me break it to you down like this when you're shopping at a farmer's market or you go to someone's house to purchase like say me i'm a quarter acre no-till market garden and you pulled my yard and you want to get some greens you want collard greens and you see a few holes here and there in my collard greens my best advice to you would be sam i want that collard green i want that one with the holes in it because that leafy collard green with the holes in it is going to be higher in antioxidants for you than those smooth, perfect leaves. And another thing, it is unnatural not to have pests in a garden. It's unnatural, okay? When you're going to garden, the concepts behind sustainable, regenerative, permaculture, organic, is working with nature instead of against nature, which means you're going to incorporate small livestock or large depending on how much property you have into the areas that you are going to garden and you're going to let them do what god created them to do till the soil remove the pest take out weed seeds that's their job they're even going to be nice enough to fertilize it for me and then drop an egg so i can have something to eat 
if you work with nature, instead of fighting against her, you will find that gardening can be a joy. It can be relaxing. It can increase your health as well as your wealth. There are ways to make money through market gardens. Stop giving these large chemical companies all your money. <clears throat> Stop listening to anyone that tells you that you're gonna need to dump a whole bunch of nitrogen on the soil to get food to grow. You see the brown, but every now and then you see a patch of green, right? All of this is fixing to be turned into a garden. The brown is actually rotting hay and corn stalks on top, as well as leaves and pine straw. That is going to be my heavy mulch so that I don't have to use as much water this year in Southeast Louisiana, zone nine B if you're curious. And the heat won't kill my plants. The green you see breaking through are cover crops that I planted in the fall to get me through until the spring. That's actually what the chickens are eating, but they are gonna miss a few spots. What I'm going to do is bring in heavy mulch and cover up that green and let it die right there by removing any ability to get sunlight. When those green plants die where they're sitting, they're going to release nitrogen. Yep, you heard me, free nitrogen. And by not disturbing the roots in the soil, they're also sequestering carbon. So not only am I sequestering carbon and making the world a more beautiful place for all of us, I'm using what God has already given me to fertilize my next year's crops. It is truly that easy, you guys. God bless you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy this clip of a video I'm gonna pop in from the Austrian girl. She's pretty awesome. You should go and uh, subscribe to her channel. I love her little accent, but she stays on top of a lot of the regulations that the EU is pushing through. And well, that is synonymous to what America is going to see very soon. So you have to sometimes go from local to state to nation to world and have a world's view of what's going on out there, you guys. Forewarned, right? Let's be forewarned. And don't forget what God says. My people perish for lack of knowledge. So let's keep thinking. Share in the comments what you think. Tell me how you're going to fertilize your crops this year without purchasing that bag of triple 13. God bless you guys. Have a blessed day.